Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Hearthstone Mercer is Mythic Boss Rush. If you have been doing the max level each week, you have now reached level 460. Yeah, it's pretty high. And we're getting to the territory where re-rolling the anomalies is becoming the rule instead of the exception. Something that I don't really enjoy. I will have some more words about that in another video. But anyway, day 3 of 460 is the easiest day so far. So this would be the best chance you have so far to complete one at 460. Some people are even farming this one. It's Raven the Hunter and Chromagus at the end, and it begins with Yashiraj. And Yashiraj is does a lot of attacking, so infinite roots can do splendid things in Yashura's fight. Then after that, it's some blue bosses. So if you have fighters with artillery strike, even a very low artillery strike, we're talking like 120 damage or so, can get you all the way to the final fight. And then at the final fight, well, Chromagus has 400 health. I mean, before the buff, so for artillery strike. So if you have artillery strike dealing 200 damage, you would need two copies. I have a bit of a different approach because my artillery strike is much weaker but it also functions reasonably well. So let's take a look at the team that I'm using for this one. This is my root strike team for this one. I'm using Nemzi with fresh peaches, Elise with monkey's paw, Katka with bitter chill, Edwin, well, round of drinks, but doesn't really matter. Eudora really doesn't matter. I don't want to bring Eudora out, but Prime Diamond is what I've been using. And Vaughn with Dragon's Mark also doesn't really matter. Edwin, Eudora, Vaughn, they are here for this artillery strike. Mine deals only 160 damage, but I can do this with two artillery strikes and then having access to Nemesis can't touch this. So that's one way. If I get one artillery strike at the start, then that gets me all the way to the final boss. If I get another one by the final boss, if I get three, I can just... Chromagus just dies. If I get two plus can't touch this, that also works. And Nemzi is pretty fun in the first fight against Yashuraj, because Elise and Godkar are going to keep Yashuraj and the adds rooted, but the adds are going to cast Makora, which makes your characters attack into them. But you have Boggy, and then you just keep re-summoning Boggy. And if needed, you can also control which character is going to take some more damage with Bogonomics, because you typically want Elise to die in the first fight. So you're definitely going to Bogonomics Elise first, when there's a chance that characters are going to start dying, and if everything goes well, well, Elise dies, everyone else alive. You get one artillery strike, maybe you get two or three artillery strikes by the end, and you're going to get maybe can't touch this, and that's going to give you a way to complete this even with fairly low levels of artillery strike. The second fight is Babbling Book, and Babbling Book is miserable, it's super RNG, and it can also deal tons and tons of damage. So you really don't want to go into that one and like fight it fair, even with Celestial, so this is really an artillery strike day. And this is what it all looks like in action. Alright, so here we go against Yashura with the Nemzi team. People have been doing this also with like Gen instead of Nemzi. Just like, if you have very high health on your characters, it's obviously much easier. With these very low level characters, I need to try to have more health than they have attack, because I'm going to take at least one hit. And then Boggy is going to tank so many hits. Boggy is just going to tank a crazy amount of damage in this fight. And obviously Boggy is going to die a lot, but then Boggy just gets resummoned time and time again. So well, there goes one boogie, but that boogie sacrifice was enough to keep everyone else alive. Because that Makora, even though you root them, the Makora still, still forces you to attack. Now there's one Makora coming this time, which is nice because boogie is going to be able to tank that. So this is a good start. Obviously lo losing boogie again. But then Boggy just gets resummoned. It's the double Makora turns that are really difficult. We must band together, united, for united for Dalaran, eh? Now it's a double Makora turn. In order to survive a double Makora turn, I need Bogonomics the Elise here. I'm just going to summon a monkey. We're going to do this. Because otherwise I could lose Nemzi. And Elise is the one that I'm more comfortable losing. Actually, I want to lose Elise. So I'm totally fine with that. 
Elizabeth survives here, but probably dies next turn. Single Makora kills Elise, but killing Elise is okay. I don't mind losing the Elise. It's totally fine. Elise gets to heal the others a little bit before she goes. There. And we get Boggy back. Alright. And then we can bring in another character. We're going to bring in, well, Born, Yura, between all of them have their upsides. The ones that summon stuff mean that you have more stuff on the board, which means more, more characters to benefit from the monkey, which means more damage. I think we're going for Born. Let's get this party started. Double Makkara is a little tough, but as an upside, currently the monkey is the only one who could be killed by a Makkara, so we should be fine. But we even have the Archmage Nova coming, so we have more health coming. We can just summon another boggy. If I lose the monkey, that's obviously inconvenient. My cut car can easily tango hit. So that's no problem whatsoever. And we summon another boggy. Obviously, whenever they decide to go for the double Makora, that is that is tough. But now only one ad remains. We want to get rid of this ad before Yashuras is able to use the two speed ability. So we keep working on this. But now it's just a single Makora. And now we have all the damage coming from here. All the damage coming from here. So we should be in a fairly good position now. Just a single Makora. And we're getting in a lot of damage. Almost there. We need one more turn before Yashuras gets to use the two speed ability and we're in the clear. And we have that turn, using Makkara again, okay. Actually that Makkara is never going to happen, because we just have Archmage Nova at 5 speed. Actually I won't, I won't use that to heal up my team yet. Because then Yashuras could still use the 2 speed ability to attack someone else than Boggy. I'm not quite ready for that. There goes the Axtro. Now Yashurash has been isolated. Yeah, I need to be a little bit careful about giving another taunt. After Yashurash has used the two speed ability, I could give another taunt to heal up my characters because Yashurash won't be able to attack more than once every like. But taunt, taunt makes it a little faster, so. But it takes many, many turns for Yashurash to be able to actually attack. Yeah, we have enough here. Things are going well. well. We managed to kill off Elise, which means that I have three artillery strike mercenaries. That I have Nemzi. Nemzi can also just win. Because if you get the one that heals your taunt minions. And then, well, I have Gadka. Whom I could get rid of. But timing that so that I don't actually die to die to Yashuras is a little tricky, so I generally don't try to go for that. Alright, everyone is safe and sound behind the boogie now. That's not too much damage coming, because Monkey can't attack. Well, Monkey can attack, but it would die, so it doesn't make sense to attack. And Katka, well, once Katka has transformed his form, then you can't get rid of that. Even if, you use, even if you use the ability that's supposed to get rid of it, it just doesn't. And now here comes the two-speed Rage Unbound, but I have Boggy. 
So Boggy is just going to tank that Rage Unbound and I will be completely fine. Here comes the Rage Unbound, but hey, I have Boggy. And boom. And from here it's all about just rolling the right treasures and winning. One artillery strike on a green merc, even a fairly low level artillery strike, is just going to get you through. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.